Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a Timu favorites. I did ask you guys in one of my past videos, you guys want to see in my uh, on my channel, and someone mentioned they wanted to see like a favorites video, what I've been loving from Timu. I haven't really done like a dedicated Timu haul in a while on my channel, so I do have to see what's going on. I have a lot of things in my cart, I just haven't checked out. So we're going to see what's going on with that. Now I do want to mention audio sucks in the mm, entirety of the first part of this video because i didn't notice that my mic was like across the room basically across the table so you can hear me but it's not gonna sound cute so just keep that in mind i'm not gonna start the video over i'm not gonna bring back the products and talk about them again because it's gonna be disingenuine i want you guys to get my initial reaction to these products and what i had to say about them and I'm kind of sad because it just sounds not great, but we're just going to roll with the punches. If you guys enjoy my videos, I push through, please, and just like watch and like this video because I literally didn't notice. I have to get back in the groove because I haven't been filming in a while. So I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry about the audio. Again, it does get better towards the end. I'll have the timestamp on when the audio gets better. If you want to skip the whole like tragedy of the audio sounding sucky. It's going to be on the screen. Yes, I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see what's going on, what's happening, what products I've been loving from Timo, just keep on watching. This comes to no surprise. If you guys are surprised by any of these products, honestly, where have you been? Because I mention them all the time. I use them all the time on my Instagram, TikTok, Reels, everywhere. These are the two glosses from Timo that I have been loving this one specifically i mentioned in my like what i took to vegas like what makeup i even did like a get ready with me in vegas and i think i use this product as well this is the fantastic beauty lip gloss in the shade pretty please it's their like gloss bomb stunning i'm telling you girl like this formula is 10 out of 10 i might throw some on now we also have the jolly jojo hot lip gloss this one here is in the shade 05 these are like fenty beauty alleged dupes um in my opinion their formulas are really nice they give you a nice like plump look to your lips i honestly want to apply one of them uh, let's throw some of this one on they just give you the most beautiful like look to the lips i don't know what it is i just love how they smell as well it's just like ready to go girl i love this amazing i do have a full face of she glam going on today in case you're wondering um so yeah i just love these and if you're in the market for a new lip gloss and you're like on timu you want something affordable i definitely recommend one of the fenty beauty dupes the fantastic beauty or the one from jolly jojo both of these are amazing i have another one that's not so great also from Timu, but I'd say from these two brands, definitely check them out. They come in various colors. This one specifically came with a highlight as well. This one actually did come with this highlight, also from Fantastic Beauty. And this is their highlight in What a Brat. Basically, it's just like a pink kind of highlight vibe. So these two come in a set together. But honestly, if you find it by itself, I definitely recommend the lip gloss over the highlight. I think this is whatever vibes, but the actual gloss is stunning. I couldn't find my past lip gloss. I honestly don't remember what happened to it. Like somewhere in my collection, but these two go. Yes. We also have their setting spray. This is one of my favorite setting sprays from the website because it gives me very much like MACA vibes. Not only does it spray really nicely and even on the face, but it also does feel like it's doing something. So this is the Putty Air Fix Plus Matte waterproof setting spray as you can see i like used quite a bit up of this product and also i did a whole like video on what, what brands you should trust from timu which is in that playlist that i mentioned earlier so if you want to watch that putty air is definitely one of my favorite brands from the website so yeah i'd say try them out i did purchase another one of these in a pink sparkly color because i wanted to use it like on my chest and stuff chest area just to give myself a little bit of sparkle that one didn't work out so well for me but the matte just original setting spray is pretty good why don't we tackle cream products we also have two this one's actually for my newest haul this is from capovini which looks like that's so cute it comes in a little heart package it comes with a little mirror on the inside and you get this cream blush which i actually did use sometime in february because i remember i picked it up specifically for valentine's it's just so 
pretty and it just blends out beautifully on the face so definitely recommend if you're into cream products Timo is the place to be because a lot of their products are so pretty it's so many variations of cream products on there girl it's crazy we also have a rare beauty alleged dupe as well we have this blush here which honestly I don't know who it's from or what's going on but all these products are going to be linked down below if you can find them this one also does come with a little mirror this one's so cute this one's definitely more of a wearable kind of shade and it's like more on the clay side like it's kind of hard to grab but this shade is so beautiful as well stunning so again if you're into cream products look no further these are super affordable pigmented blendable kind of formula both of them are pretty pretty good in my opinion so let's talk about powder blushes as well we have this one which is also a newer blush to me from Dun shield this is their embossed blush palette and this is basically a dupe for what is that brand i don't know there's a high-end brand that literally went super viral for their like pale pink kind of blush so this is basically supposed to be a dupe for that product uh i'm i think it's dior that's why the d is there i don't know but this one is so beautiful you guys have seen it in action on my channel i literally throw it on i think i did a video on my tiktok as well with this product and if i haven't i need to because this is so pretty looks amazing it does show up on my skin tone it's so good but if you're more into like the neutral kind of blushes i think you're really gonna enjoy the nozzle blush this one is more of a nars alleged dupe and this one here's in the shade 04 love the packaging super cute tiny kind of travel size vibes you get a mirror in here as well the shade 04 is just like a beautiful kind of everyday tone there's a look at that versus the pink but both of them are just as nice this one shows up on my skin it definitely comes off more pink than like brown i don't know this is very much like a mauve kind of shade and then the other one is more like pale pink blue based pink if you will so cute both of them are amazing so again if you're on the market for a cream blush or even a powder blush they have it all love i haven't really found like the best bronzer that i like reach for non-stop just yet but blushes are actually really good highlight formula is also really nice we have this one from Suve mio and honestly don't know how to say that another fenty beauty alleged dupe which looks like so love the packaging which is like why i reach for it for the most part because i love the packaging um, but also the formula is actually really nice as well it does come with the mirror um this is a dupe for the gloss i don't know they have a, a highlight that looks like this that's basically just going to give you a little bit of a shimmer kind of vibe to the skin nothing crazy it's a little like putty like if you like put your finger in there but there's a look at that it's definitely going to give you the shimmer vibes nothing like chunky or like too glittery on the face it's just like the right amount it's just so beautiful just gives you those fairy kind of vibes so this is cute not for every day i'd say mostly for like when i'm filming or whatever it's like when i reach for this the most but you know it's cute it gives you the vibe so if you're into that if you film videos you want something that's going to be a little punchy or you're having like a quinceanera you need something punchy vibes that you want to send out i think you're really going to enjoy this i wonder if they have other shades i definitely want to see if they have more like wearable shades for my skin tone so next we're going to go ahead and get into the duo as i mentioned earlier i don't have any specific like bronzer that i love from the site but this is pretty good because of the cream color side so this is a mini star pro contour palette and it comes with two shades in here this is a wet and wild alleged dupe for the dulce de leche duo that i used to purchase a lot so basically this comes with a cream color side and a bronzer side bronzer side is like whatever vibes for me like i can use it but it's not like a favorite there's a swatch of both of those basically i use this like cream shade to like set my under eyes and it works amazing so if they would sell just this product by itself i would buy it but the bronzer i can do without i don't really reach for it so i also have two powders here you guys know i love my o2o powder this one here is their mist mare locking powder in the shade natural beige this is a like newer favorite to my collection love it it comes with a mirror and the product itself is so nice i have to use it again these products have been sitting there for a long time so i haven't like gotten a chance to use them as of recently but yeah one of my favorite product one of my favorite powders in my collection alongside the ns powder you guys know 
if you know if you guys have been on my channel you guys have seen this a million times nsns powder from timu another nars alleged dupe it's so good girl i've repurchased like a couple times now i think this is my third one it's amazing i love it for my under eyes i love using this for all over the face as well i can use it for everything so there's a look at that i'm like almost through this one as well so i need to repurchase soon but i use the shade i don't know i think this is just like the medium shade it comes in two shades a light and a medium this is a medium and it's amazing i'm like sad that for half the video the most of the video um you can't hear me and it's so annoying gonna move on lastly we have a two face palettes first off we have this nikita dragon alleged dupe as well and this is their pressed powder face palette i don't remember the actual brand to be honest but it does come with a contour a blush a highlight there's a look at the actual palette oh it looks like the highlight broke oh no this kind of like fell out right now okay a chunk came off it does come with a mirror there's a look at the palette itself the bronzer shades in here are actually very much like on the cool tone side so more of a contour vibe the blushes are cute i love this one here and then the highlight is really nice as well i won't say that i reach for every single shade in here when i do want a nice like contour vibe i'll go for this shade but you know it's cute if you're on the market for a face palette i think these are cute they're not going to be the most amazing face palette you've ever tried super pigmented and buttery but i think these are cute and they work so if you're into face palettes you want to try them out i think this is a cute little buy it's not going to be amazing as i mentioned but it's like you know it's nice nice to have i don't know why the highlights are breaking but now i think more people are going to be into this face palette more than the nikita one because this one actually does come with bronzers in here this is the hud emoji cheek leaders pink squad palette i believe it comes in two different styles on the site again hud emoji on the site does give you a lot of dupes for like higher end brands and such very much like packaging dupes opposed to actual formula dupes so keep that in mind so there's a look at that it comes with the two bronzers you get two highlights and two blushes Again, the bronzers in here are true bronzers opposed to the contours from the Nikita palette situation. So you do get the Hula and the um, Dallas bronzers in here. The highlights are okay. I'd much rather reach for this one than this one. I don't know why. There's a swatch of the blush up here. They're really nice. So if you're, again, looking for a face palette, I recommend this one over the Nikita one. I think this one's better. You get more like a bang for your buck with this product because i think you'll reach for it a lot more in my opinion because that's what i do to each their own but this one here is much better vibes but this one is like cute as well so they have a really cute like face palettes they have other ones as well that i haven't even mentioned there's a whole lot of other products that i love from timu that you might like vice versa if you have found anything that i might enjoy let me know in the comments and i hope you guys enjoyed watching again i do have a playlist which is down below so definitely check that out before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye